Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to my course uh, Aspects of Biochemical Engineering. In the last uh, lecture, I try to discuss the different type of uh, reactors and we have seen that uh, uh, we have different, uh, different reactors is used both in the chemical and biochemical industries. As for example, we, we have, uh, if you look at the mode of operation, on the basis of mode of operation, it can be have uh, three different type of reactors. One is called batch reactor, another we have head batch reactor, another we have continuous reactor. And then uh, we also come back to the other different type of reactors like uh, in the continuous reactor, we have uh, uh, CSTR, we have plasto reactor. And I told you that uh, uh, CSTR is very easy to oper operate, but plasto is a little bit difficult to operate because during the flow, there should not be any kind of back mixing that takes place in the in the reactor. Radial mixing is permissible, no, no, not axial mixing. So but that is the problem that we have, and uh, and then uh, I di uh, we discuss the different other type of reactors like packed bed reactor, expanded bed reactor, uh, fluidized bed reactor. Also, we discuss the bubble column reactor, air lift reactor, and also I showed you what are the uh, uh, how the, uh, the reactor looks uh, in the industrially that both in the biochemical and chemical processes. Now uh, today uh, I want to discuss very important uh, topic that is called reactor analysis. Now why the reactor analysis is required because to find out uh, the, <coughs> the volume of the reactor because so in the industry suppose I want to produce a certain amount of product. The, suppose uh, I, I worked, I personally worked with citric acid industry and we produce four to five tons of citric acid per day. Now question comes that uh, for the production of citric acid, what should be the volume of the reactor, how we can calculate. So until unless you have the expertise, uh, you have the knowledge of reactor analysis, you cannot do the analysis. So to this uh, lecture is uh, totally deals with that. Now first let me discuss that, uh, that the analysis of the reactor, we have, uh, we have the material balance, we have a substrate, we, we can see the substrate balance and the product balance and energy balance. So three different way we can do that. One is substrate balance, another is product balance and the energy balance. So uh, uh, that uh, we, can, we can do this uh, uh, balance of the equations that we can do. Then if you look at uh, the, uh, the formula, because we considered basically it is a kind of formula that what kind of equations we have for the reactor analysis. So we have the input equal to plus generation equal to output plus disappearance plus reaccumulation. Now, uh, now when you do any kind of reactor analysis, we should always uh, consider that, you know, that a particular, one particular component. As for example, suppose, I want to produce A to B, am I right? A is the substrate and B is the product, am I right? So if we want to do the analysis, we can do the analysis with respect to substrate. So if we, if we put the, the then rate of substrate input equal to rate of substrate generation, rate of substrate output plus rate of substrate disappearance plus rate of accumulation. This is the equation that we have. Now, if you want to do the balance equation, this is kind of balance equation, am I right? And if we write uh, the balance equation with respect to product, how we can read rate of product input plus the rate of product generation equal to rate of product output, rate of product disappearance plus the rate of product accumulation. Now, uh, we, can, we, can, we can write this balance equation with the respect to the energy also. Rate of energy input plus rate of energy generation plus rate of energy equal to rate of en energy output plus rate of energy disappearance plus rate of energy accumulation. Now first uh, let me consider the batch reactor. 
in the batch reactor we want to apply this same formula in the batch reactor now what is batch reactor batch reactor is considered on steady state operation where the composition of the reactant keep on changing with respect so what i what i what i want to do that suppose there is a reaction a2 product am i right so i can write ca with respect to time so it is keep on decreasing with respect to time so at different time at different time you have different ca value now if you if you if you if you have the rate equation what is the rate equation dca by dt am i right equal to k into ca if you consider first order reaction now as your ca value k is constant but as your ca value changes at different time this is t1 this is t2 this is t3 this is t4 the as the time changes your ca value changes as the ca value changes the rate of reaction changes since the rate of reaction changes we call it it is a on steady state operation so please uh, the, the, the on steady state means that uh, why is on steady with respect to the substrate concentration substrate concentration is not uniform in the reactor as the time passes on substrate concentration keep on changing with respect to time now <coughs> now if you put this uh, in the in the uh, previous formula how we can write that input the, the i told you in the batch system we take the material at a time Along with the react, after the reaction is over, you take it out. So the input and output should be equal to zero. Am I right? This should be equal to zero. There is no in continuous input, continuous output from the process. So what is the rate of disappearance? The rate of disappearance is minus R into B. Why minus R into B? What is minus R? Minus R equal to minus dCa by dT. What is dCa? dCa is the mass. Per unit volume, am I right? So, so when you when you carry out the reactor reaction in the reactor, you have to consider the liquid volume, whole liquid volume. You have to consider. So, you have to multiply it by B. Then you consider all the component that carrying out the uh, take place in the take part in the reaction. Then this is the um, what is this? This is the rate of accumulation of A in the system. So, this is uh, the D C A into B into D T. now this equation i can i can write in this form dt equal to minus uh, the d dca into minus r, uh, r, r this this we can write now uh, now we can uh, if we if we want to find out the batch time how we can do that how i can do i can do the integration here am i right i can do the integration with 0 to t so this is equal to T batch, and this is equal to like this. Now, if you want to calculate this, how you can calculate? So uh, this is minus R D, and this is C A. And suppose th the correlation is like this, then suppose this is equal to C A zero, and this is equal to C A. So area under this curve is equal to T batch. we can easily calculate the batch time like this now i can here let me point out one thing when you when you consider any kind of batch batch process we should remember that the batch process one for has particular one drawback what is the drawback after the batch is over you have to take the material out and after taking the material you have to clean the vessel then again you have to refill the vessel it required that some time and this time we call it down time this uh, what do you, what do you call it down time so to what is the t total in a batch process total time equal to t batch <coughs> plus t down time am i right this is how we can get the get the total time required for the batch process now this is exactly what i have done previously this is how we can find out and and if the if, if if your correlation is like this that we can we can find out this is ca0 to ca and uh, i i told you ca equal to what ca0 into 1 minus xa so with respect to xa also you can do that the xa will be 0 to x in but, but one we should understand that when we have the correlation between 
minus R A by C A that this co correlation this is equal to C A 0. This is C A am I right? But uh, when you draw this correlation with respect to x then the you start 0 from here. The same type of correlation will be like this. Now, let me uh, let me talk about uh, this uh, continuous start tank reactor and I told you continuous start tank reactor is largely operated and is easy to operate and uh, we here it is possible to establish the steady state conditions. What is the steady state condition? Steady state condition means at a, at a under steady state condition the concentration of the, the of the different component present on the of the reaction mixture remain constant. So, uh, how it is possible? This is possible because let me explain that. Suppose the suppose this is a CSTR, am I right? <coughs> So, you operate a particular flow rate, the particular substrate concentration. When you, when you run this process, so you, you take out the, the material time to time, this is same flow rate you maintain here. So, this is C A. So, initially when you, when you, when you find, operate it, you find C A value might be changing like this. And time will come, it is constant. When it is constant, we call it steady state because when the this, uh, this is, uh, substrate concentration is remain unaltered, then we call it is steady state. Okay. So, your material balance is input equal to output the same that we have as we have done before input equal to output disappearance plus accumulation. Now, how we can analyze the reactor? This is the, if you if you if you if you consider here, let us assume this is F A. F A is here. Here F A is the mo moles of A per unit time. You are feeding in the reactor. Now, how you can write F A is F A 0? F A 0 is equal to nothing but what you can write F into C A 0. What is C A 0? F is the flow rate volume per unit time and this is C A is moles of A per unit volume. Am I right? This volume volume will cancel. So, it will be moles of A per unit time. So, <coughs> we can we can write that F A equal to uh, F A 0 into 1 minus X A. Now, C A equal to what? C A equal to C A 0 minus 1 minus X A. So, similarly we can write uh, but that uh, if a if a uh, the molar output output flow rate here will be equal to f a 0 into this so so this equation what we can write that f a uh, f a is the input and f a 0 we don't have any generation because we are we are this a is the substrate am i right and it is producing product so, there is the, but the equation is that rate of input plus rate of degeneration is the rate of output plus rate of disappearance plus rate of accumulation. Now, under steady state condition, steady state condition, what is steady state condition when the I told you when the substrate concentration will be uniform and this is this is possible when rate of accumulation is 0, when the rate of accumulation is 0 equal to 0. Then and only then that uh, that uh, your substrate concentration will be uniform. So, what will be basic equation rate of input equal to rate of output plus rate of disappearance. This is the rate of disappearance. So, if you solve this equation, we will get the V um, that is V by F A 0. Am I right? Into X A by this we can we can write this is if it's simple equation if we if you solve this equation we this f a 0 f a 0 will cancel and f a 0 if, if it cancels then it's a, it is minus f a 0 into x a minus f a 0 in x a you can take it this side f a 0 into x a equal to <coughs> the minus r a into v now you you can you can write v by uh, f a 0 equal to x a into this we can you can easily write it here 
Now, once uh, we have uh, we have done this, then uh, uh, now if you, if you look at previous equation. Well, uh, we we have seen the previous equation like this. This equation we we, we get in the co continuous start tank reactor. Am I right? Now, <coughs> now this equation how we can write? This is a V by F. Now V. <coughs> I can I can write it here. That's a what is B, and what is F is zero? I told you this is C A zero into F. Am I right? This is C A zero into F equal to X A into minus R A. Now <coughs> this is uh, uh, so uh, so for what a this is V by F equal to what equal to C A zero. Into x by minus r. Can I write? The if we if we can write like this. Now I what I told you the C A equal to C A zero into one minus x A. The D C A will be equal to what minus C A zero into D x A. Now here you see that uh, this is the this is the this x a that we have, <coughs> then and this minus r a that you, you get uh, get here that is the that you can you can then what is this value? This this is nothing but what you call space time. This is what is the unit? This is volume. This is volume per unit time. So this is called v by f. V by f we call it space time for the CSTRs. Now this is equal to uh, how we express tau CSTR. This is exactly we have done in the subsequent uh, uh, slide. This is uh, tau CSTR equal to uh, v by f C A zero v by f A zero. The C A zero into x A. The what is the what is the C A zero into x A? It is C A zero into because I I told what I told you this is x a, x a is equal to what c a zero fraction of a that is converted in the c a zero. Am I right? So if it is like this, so I, I, uh, this is the, um, so c a zero equal to c a zero minus x a that is c a zero into x a equal to c a zero into c a. So what we have written here and this is like this. Now let me let me let me take the the previous equation BPS uh, plot minus R A versus suppose we have C A, so we have this this kind of plots. Now suppose we want to convert C A zero to C A. So if you if you if here the area under this curve is equal to tau C S T R because this is a rectangle because at at uh, as ca what is the rate of reaction is this one and at a ca0 it is this one so so this uh, the, this uh, this uh, this is the um, concentration different the rate of reaction you multiply it, you will get the tau cstr this is how you can find out tau cstr Now this is uh, exactly what the, what uh, they have mentioned here that uh, it has been. You can see that how we get the area under this curve will be equal to tau. This is equal to tau CSTR. This we can calculate, and it is very simple. If you know the rate of reaction, tau CSTR equal to CA zero minus CA minus RA. So if you know RA, if you know CA zero, so the uh, we can easily find out that what is the tau CSTR. Now this is equal to tau CSTR is equal to what? This is equal to V by F. Now, now if you know the flow rate, though you can easily find out the volume of the reactor. So that is exactly I was saying that uh, this reactor analysis, um, if you can do, you can find out the volume of the reactor. 
have uh, in, in any kind of production processes. Now, uh, let me discuss another another reactor, a continuous reactor, what you call plug flow reactor. Now, uh, what is the plug flow considering the steady state plug flow where the composition of the reactant of the fluid varies along the path. Now, in case what is happening that you know liquid this is you can you can find out this is um, this is this is the this is the tube tubular i told you basically basically it is a tubular reactor the liquid is p p passing through the tube am i right it is passing like this now when it passes like this that a concentration of uh, a ca keep on changing with respect to time so if you if you make a profile that you find ca zero ca ca concentration not ca zero ca concentration keep on changing with respect to distance like this, you keep on changing with respect to distance. So naturally, that uh, now here, what we can do, do anal do the analysis of the plug flow reactor. We shall have to assume a differential segment in the particular reactor, a small segment that we can consider in the reactor, and we can we can do the material analysis across the segment. So we l let us assume the F A, the moles of A that is entering here, and what is going out that FA plus DFA and, and the volume of the this segment is the D, DV that we have. So what you can write material, what is the material analysis we have rate of input equal to rate of input equal to rate of output, rate of disappearance accumulation. So under steady state condition, rate of accumulation is equal to zero. This has been mentioned. So what is the rate of input F A across the differential segment? What I told you, this is this is a tubular reactor, and we assume a differential segment here. Am I right? So it is coming F A and going out what F A plus D F A. And what is the volume of the segment? Volume of the segment is D V that we have. Now, if you if you have F A, so F A is the input and F A plus the D F A is the output. Am I right? This is the output. And what is the rate of reaction minus R A into D V. So, this I can write that uh, F A will F A will cancel. Now, what is the F A, F A, F A I can write like this F A equal to F A 0, F A 0 1 minus X A. That is, uh, that is exactly what he has written there and this is equal to minus R A into D V. Now, this we can write that uh, this uh, F A 0 into D X A equal to minus R A into D V. So, uh, so we have we have this equation if you, if you look at the previous equation is like this. So, we can write D V so what we can write dv by d f a 0 f a 0 i can take it here so the the d x a minus minus r a am i right so that is exactly what he has written here uh, d dv by f a 0 the d a by minus r a am i right so <coughs> this is so if you if you do the uh, the, the you know, this is the plug flow reactor and uh, the this is the zero volume this is the v volume so you can you can integrate from zero to v volume, and naturally dv will be v, and f a zero is constant. It will comes out, and this will be like this. Now what is f a zero? I told you f a zero is equal to c a zero into f. Am I right? So <coughs> I can write v by f equal to c a zero into this is uh, this is c a zero into uh, then into this, this uh, d x a by this and again I, I, I told you that uh, c a equal to what? c a equal to c a equal to c a 0 1 minus x a. Now, d x d c a is equal to what? minus c a 0, c a 0 is constant d x a. Now, here this is c a 0 and d x a is there. So we can we can write this in the form of d x a. So this will be minus. This is minus. The plus is there, so it should be minus. 
So, this equation we can come, uh, come across this equation. This is equal to again V by F. So, if we find out the tau uh, plus 4 reactor, then, <coughs> then we, if we find out the F value, we can find out the volume of the reactor. F is the volumetric flow rate. Now, how you can find out the volumetric flow rate? Let me explain that. Suppose, uh, let me let me first uh, assume, uh, the, suppose this is a CSTR, there is the input and output, am I right? Then what is the equation that we have? We have equation is that tau CSTR is equal to CA0 minus CA minus RA and this is equal to V by F. Now, suppose the one industry produce, uh, let us assume basis. What is basis? Basis is let us 1 kg of Baker's yeast production. Baker's <coughs> yeast production. Per day. Let us assume the per day or whatever you have per hour, you can you can say per hour, whatever you have. Now, if you assume that, then then first we shall have to find out the stoichiometry. What is stoichiometry? That how much of substrate gives how much of product. So, in case of Baker's yeast, suppose you have, uh, you, you use the sugar as a raw material, sugar. So, 1 gram of sugar produces approximately 0.5 gram of cell. So, <coughs> suppose for 1 kg of uh, Baker's yeast, how much sugar is required? Sugar is required, this is uh, 1 kg divided by 0 0.5, this is equal to 2 kg, am I right? 2 kg you can do. Now, 2 kg, the 1 kg uh, Baker's yeast you want to produce per hour, that means 2 kg Baker's yeast is required per hour but provided your conversion is 100 percent, but usually your conversion cannot be 100 percent, maybe 95 percent, 98 percent. So, again you divide by that factor maker, maybe 98 percent. So, this is the exact amount of substrate that is required for your system. Now, if you have, if you know what is the initial substrate concentration here, so if you know what, if you divide by any, what is the initial substrate concentration? The kg per unit volume. So, so kg kg will cancel, volume will go here, that volume per unit time. So, volume you can put it here, uh, flow rate you can put it, that is volume per unit time is the flow rate and this uh, uh, then you can easily find out the volume of the reactor. Similarly, you can do this, uh, uh, the same thing you can do in case of plus flow reactor. This is how you can find out the, uh, the volume of the reactor. And here in the plus flow reactor, when you do the code co that you know previously you can remember that uh, when we uh, talk about the CSTR, the area under this curve, the area under this curve, this is uh, this is like this, this area under this curve we call it, this is tau CSTR, am I right? But now, in case of a uh, plug flow reactor, when it is uh, the area under this curve is we call this is called tau plug flow reactor. So, obviously, if you do any kind of reaction, if you have the correlation between 1 by R A versus C A, you have this, this kind of pattern. I can easily say that uh, tau C S T R will be much less than tau C S T R. So, naturally, if the if the if the if the tau C S T R is less, then uh, this is equal to what V by F. The F is more or less constant in a in the in the particular continuous system. So if if a particular if you want to produce a definite amount of product, so V of the reactor volume of the reactor directly proportional with the space time of the plug flow reactor. So as it is decreases, the so your volume of the reactor will be uh, will be less. So we'll go for if the correlation is like this, then we we'll go for the our choice is plug flow reactor, but if we have other type of correlation like this, then then if you if you look at that C A 0, well C A, the area under this curve, it you have tau C S T R. 
but area under this curve will be tau plus Fourier stress. Now, this is much less than tau plus Fourier stress. So, in that particular, uh, the, uh, the if you have correlation like this minus R A by uh, the C A 0, then we will go for our choice will be tau C S T R. Now, uh, I have one observation here because I want to share with you. Now, what is this situation? You try to think over that. Now, as the substrate concentration decreases, 1 by R A increases. 1 by R A increases means that uh, R A decreases. But as the you, you, you imagine the situation, the reactor, when the substrate degrade, decreases, substrate concentration decreases, rate of reaction also decreases. Now, why it happens? It only happens when there is a product formation. So, uh, so uh, this kind of correlation is valid when there is a product inhibition in the system. This is product inhibition. Am I right? So, in case of product inhibition, we go for our choice this plug flow reactor. Now, course, uh, since I told you the plug flow reactor is very difficult to operate. Am I right? Now, uh, how is it possible? Question comes: Is this possible? to replace the plug flow reactor by CSTR, answer is yes, how it can be done. Now, here if you look at here, if we put the multiple plug CSTR like this, the multiple CSTR what will be the area of the CSTR is like this. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, if you if you if you if you consider multiple CSTR in series, <coughs> then you will find tau plug flow reactor is almost is almost equal to not exactly equal to tau CSTR. If you have multiple CSTR in series which can be easily operated. Now, here I have I have given an example suppose how we select the reactor suppose there is a reaction a to B and you have correlation 1 by R A versus C A is like this. So, we I, I have identified three two different zones, this zone and this zone. Now, here you can clearly you can find out here area under this curve, this will be what tau C S T R. Am I right? This is tau C S T R. And so we will but here here the total area here will be tau plug flow reactor. So, C A 0 to C A dash we, we that you know our tau C S T R will be much less than tau plug flow reactor. So, we will go for our preference should be tau C S T R. Now, here situation will be different C A dash to C A the area under this curve this curve will be will be tau C S T R and this is this area under this head this will be tau plug flow reactor. So, this is much less as compared to tau C S T R. So, we will go for plug flow reactor. So, what I have written here that uh, in that particular what is our choice first is C A 0 should be passed through the C S T R. So, that it converted to C A dash and then it passed through the plug flow reactor you will got the C A. So, so, what I have written here to minimize the space time the following strategy is to be maintained the CSTR followed by plug flow reactor because the space time is equal to V by F. The if the if the time uh, overall space time is reduced in the particular reaction, then volume of the reactor will be very less. And if the volume of the reactor is less, our cost involvement of the process of, uh, is less. This is how we can select the reactor. Now, in this uh, in this particular lecture, I try to discuss that uh, how we can find the uh, batch time uh, of a batch process and how you can find I, I told you batch uh, batch process is an example of the unsteady state uh, uh, reactor and if you go, go if you wanted to have the steady state uh, re, uh, reaction only it is possible in the continuous reactor but but one thing I want to highlight that steady state conditions will be uh, prevail at an infinite time, no, I mean instantaneously it cannot be done, it uh, you have to run it for quite some time until, until analysis is attained the steady state. And uh, after uh, 
So we try to analyze the CSTR, we try to analyze the plug pro reactor and we have seen that uh, plug pro reactor is suitable for the product inefficient reaction and but the plug pro reactor can be replaced by the multiple CSTR because I showed you that how it can be multiplied and finally I showed you that uh, what is the strategy we should have for selecting the, uh, the, the different reactor in a particular reactions. Thank you very much.